Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can test the AC voltage on your doorbell transformer. I'm also going to show you how you can measure the hertz of the doorbell transformer. But before we begin, I wanted to talk about a couple things and I'm going to talk about safety first. If you're not comfortable with electricity, do not try this. You're not going to learn everything you need from one video on how to work with electricity. So make sure that you're comfortable working with electricity. Make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. And make sure that you read through the user's manual for your multimeter so you fully understand how to use it. Okay, a couple safety tips here. While we're using the test leads, you want to make sure that you do not touch the metal tips and you also want to make sure that you do not touch the metal tips together. And you want to make sure that the test leads are plugged into the correct spots on your multimeter, so make sure that you follow the instructions for your multimeter. I also have other videos on the Fluke 117 multimeter that I'll link at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time and want to learn more about the Fluke 117 multimeter, please check those videos out. Okay, so I'm going to turn the dial to this symbol right here, which is going to test the AC voltage for us and the Hertz for us. And this multimeter selects the AC voltage range based on the AC voltage present. So I don't need to pre-select a range. Some multimeters, you'll have to select uh, a range of what you're expecting to get for AC voltage. So to give an example, if we're testing a 16 volt doorbell transformer, you wanna set your multimeter to the range just above that. On some multimeters, it might be 25 volts. On some multimeters, it might be 200 volts. And make sure that you refer to the user's manual for your multimeter so you can select the correct AC voltage setting. And if you have the voltage setting set too low for the voltage that you're trying to measure, your multimeter will let you know. The multimeter may display OL or 1 or various other things. Make sure to refer to your multimeter's user's manual to see how your multimeter will let you know if the voltage that you're trying to measure is higher than the voltage setting. And then you can try the next highest AC voltage setting on your multimeter. Okay, so this is the doorbell transformer and the wires that you see attached to the two screws run off to the doorbell chime and the doorbell button. And we're going to use these two test leads on these two screws and we can use either test lead on either side but we need to use the black test lead first. Okay so I'm going to take the black test lead first and I'll put it on this screw here and then I'm going to take the red test lead and put it on the other screw here and we can see that this doorbell transformer is measuring at about 21.38 volts AC. And then when you're done, you're going to remove the red test lead first and then the black test lead. And then to measure in hertz, we're going to press this yellow button here. Okay, so I'm going to take the black test lead first and I'll put it on this screw here. And then I'm going to take the red test lead and I'll put it on this screw here. And we can see that this doorbell transformer is measuring at 59.99 hertz. Okay, and then when we're done, we're going to remove the red test lead first and then the black test lead. Okay guys, so I have my alligator clips hooked up and I'm going to show you what happens when the doorbell button is pressed. The voltage temporarily drops while the doorbell chime is activated. And then when we're all done, we'll turn the multimeter back to the off position. All right guys, well that was it for this video and I hope it's been helpful and thank you so much for watching. And like I said earlier, I do have other videos on the Fluke 117 multimeter and I'll link those videos at the end of this one. And if you're interested and have time, please check those videos out. All right guys, thank you again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.